In this theorem we want to prove that an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles. Now again before we start the theorem let's revise some things. First of all again we have our familiar straight angle which lies on a straight line which is 180 degrees. We're going to need this again for this theorem. The second thing is that we now know that the three angles in any triangle add up to be 180 degrees. So we know here that the three angles, one, two and three, all sum, that means add up to 180 degrees. Finally, we need to know what an exterior angle is to a triangle and what the interior opposite angles are. If I produce one side of the triangle right out, so extend it right out, it forms another corner, which is another angle. I've labelled it four here. That's the outside angle, which is called the exterior angle. The interior opposite angles are, well, interior means inside, and if we come inside, the opposite angles are one and two. So we are going to prove in this theorem that the measure of angle four is equal to the sum of the angles 1 and 2. We are so used to seeing this angle produced from the base out to the right that we forget that there are six possible exterior angles to any triangle. So let's just have a look at the other five possibilities. Here are the other five possibilities for exterior angles. I advise you to stop your YouTube for a minute and just look at the exterior angles and the interior opposite angles because I have them written down in each case. Now we are going to start to prove the theorem. So again, for my given, I start with my diagram. So I have to have a triangle I'm going to call it ABC and I want an exterior angle so I'm going to produce BC out to one side and I'm going to call the point that I'm going to produce it past D. So now I'm going to write that down. So given a triangle ABC with the line segment BC again remember these little square brackets mean starts at B and stops at C and I'm going to extend that now to D. Now I'm going to label the angles to make it easy to refer to them. So I'm going to state that. Now again remember one two and three are interior angles, they are inside the triangle and four is my exterior angle. Now I want to prove that that exterior angle, angle four, is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. So I come inside, inside the triangle and look at the two opposite angles. So I want to prove that four is equal to, and again the measure here, the measure of 1 plus the measure of angle 2. This time we have no construction. We're going to be talking about a straight angle, 180 degrees, and the three angles in a triangle are 180 degrees as well. So I need no construction for this theorem. So the proof. Let's start off with our prior knowledge. 3 and 4, the measure of those two angles, equal 180 degrees. And from our previous theorem, we know that 1, 2 and 3 are also 
equal to 180 degrees. So if 3 and 4 equal 180 and 1, 2 and 3 equal 180, then 3 and 4 equal 1, 2 and 3. So here we have an equation. Now we can see that we've got angle 3 on both sides. So with an equation, whatever I do to one side of the equation, as long as I do it to the other side, it keeps the equation balanced. So I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides because I'm aiming to get this result. And there we've proved our theorem again. Note the last line of my proof is exactly the same as what I set out to prove. So I'm saying that's the job done.